everybody. Hi. Uh, today we're using my brand new clip-on microphone, so hopefully the uh, the vocal quality will be a little bit better. So we're gonna try to uh, work with this uh, lavalier or lavi lavalier. La lavalier. How do you say it? Lavalier. Lavalier. I'm gonna work with this clip-on lavalier mic, Langoliers, and. Uh, we see how we how we uh, make out with it. Uh, generally, when I record these uh, little hat lectures, I'm kind of far away from the iPad, so I think um, having the mic right up here at my mouth and stuff is going to uh, improve sound quality and just keep things a little bit more steady. Uh, especially since I've got the window open today, it's actually uh, pretty mild. Um, all right, let's talk about entering a hat shop and what your choices are. When you go into a hat shop, uh, like JJ Hat Center in New York, um, we're part Western, part dress hats. So we do a lot of fedoras, all the classic stuff like pork pie hats, derbies, boulders, homburgs, big brim fedoras, short brim fedoras, flat brim fedoras, uh, things that are semi-Western and uh, semi-fedora, kind of like crossover hats, all sorts of things from all different brands all over the world. Uh, and then we do caps, you know, we do things kind of like, uh, you know, like this peak cap, that kind of stuff. Um, we have all sorts of stuff that works um, for, for you, but um, what it really comes down to is your taste. You're going to try on a whole bunch of stuff and everybody will tell you it looks great, but it doesn't matter if you don't like it. You have to feel comfortable in projecting that particular image. Um, some people are a little bit more picky about their image than others. Um, I tend to be a little bit more about comfort. I'm in that kind of mid to late dad age where I wear things like sweatpants and shorts and cotton t-shirts and like, you know, crap like this because uh, I'm starting to care less about fashion and more about comfort. But the idea is uh, to incorporate both elements. You want something that's comfortable you know that that doesn't you know squeeze you or hurt you and that also you know you feel good about the way it looks too so yeah the idea is to do both if the hat feels good you're gonna wear it if it doesn't feel good you're not going to wear it right okay you know what? let's move this clip on mic to right here so it doesn't move with the guitar alrighty so First thing you do when you enter JJ Hat Center is there's hats everywhere on the left side and the right side and the cases, they're up, they're down. What you have to think is, do I want a cap, a peak cap, like a newsboy or a flat cap or not? Do I want a brimmed hat? That's your first thing. After that, um, okay, let's say we choose I want a brimmed hat. Do you want a western hat or do you want a fedora? Would you like something a little in between, like a fedora that's a little bit earthy, country-ish, a little bit laid back, natural looking, and not too business-like or, you know, super dressy or anything like that? There's all different looks when it comes, you know, like you've got your uh, Breaking Bad uh, pork pie, which you can wear with like a leather jacket and, you know, jeans and stuff. And then you have, uh, you know, really dressy Italian fedoras that look like they need to go with an overcoat, suit, and tie, but uh, the truth is you can wear any of this stuff. You could dress a pork pie up or down. You can dress a, a fedora up or down. It's all in the presentation. Um, flip the brim up, it looks one way. Flip it down, it looks another way. Buy it a little oversized, it's going to look more casual. Tilt it more, it's going to look a little bit more fashionable or casual. Wear a very square on your head, it's going to look more conservative. So, there are no rules to this. The rules are, you get what you like. When you look in the mirror, you like what you see, and that's it. Um, you have to feel 
good about it. Um, a lot of people will feel self-conscious when they look in the mirror for the first 10 minutes and then 10 minutes pass and they start getting used to it. That's a very popular uh, phenomenon. Other things are like you might love a hat, but there's one thing bugging you. Maybe it's too high on top. So you could say, hey, listen, Kevin, I love this hat, but what's up with the top? It's so high. And I might say, well, you know what? We can shape that any way you want. You could shape that like a cowboy hat, a flat top, whatever you want, pork pie it, or we could give you the same center crease shape and just lower it a half an inch. It's very easily done in a hat shop like JJ Hat Center when there's good steamers there and good people who know how to run a steamer. So yeah, height is really not much of an issue for me. I can always lower any hat for you. Um, except for a pork pie, but a pork pie is as low as it gets anyway, so it never needs to really be lowered. So, what I'm getting at is the other day I sold a hat to somebody. It was an expensive custom hat that we made in the back workshop. It was about 450 bucks. He really liked it, but he couldn't stand the high top. It was like a high ferrell kind of top, like with the four, you know, the points, like an elfin kind of a point, and super, super high crown, almost like Pope-like or something. And he was like, yo, you know, what's, what's up with the top? And I was telling him it's like a high fashion thing. That's what makes it a custom hat that, you know, we're making something unusual and bold and people turn the necks. And he's like, you know, I'm already like six feet four and stuff. I can't wear this, you know. And I'm not going to try to convince him, you know, no, you look great. That's what's cool. It's uh, tall people can carry it. Short people can. I'm not going to say that because the idea is for him to get the hat that he loves. So what I suggested is, why don't you reshape the top? So what we did is we just took the creases out, made it open and round, like a round derby, and then I just creased it again. And he showed me a, uh, a cowboy hat up in the front. He said, can you give me that shape? And I did, and it turned out the hat looked even better with his shape. It was low, he loved it, and it was actually a really cool combination of styles. You know, it wasn't a typical Western hat. It was like a, a furry beaver finish with a very cool olive color. And it had this sort of weird, like, southwestern, almost like a knit macrame band with different colors. And it just it was awesome. And he gave it this cowboy crown and just totally reinvented it. And it made him happy. So what I suggest doing is being very methodic, methodical. First, what you want to think about is which category, dress hat, western hat, or cap. Okay, when you pick one, you eliminated already two-thirds of the shop. You know, you're back to one-third now. So let's say we're thinking fedora. From there, you want to think about, first of all, your size. We nail your size and get it down. Um, that's very important to do first, because that way we know what we have in your size, and you know we're not going to start offering you things that we only have in size small if you're an extra large. So we get your size, you find out you're a seven and a quarter or whatever, fine. After we get your size down, the next thing in the methodical you know, chain of events is we're going to go to brim size. Think about brim size. Brim size is generally between two inches and three inches. Let me show you what I mean. All right. Three hats for my wall. Three of my favorite hats. The hat you're always seeing me wear is this one. This is a classic brim. It's two and three eighths inch brim. Okay, two and three eighths is like a classic Borsellino, a classic sort of larger brim, uh, Stetson look or something. It's a very classical, you know, uh, detectives, uh, fedora, or Humphrey Bogart kind of thing. That's two and a half inch almost, two and three eighths. So figure two and a half or a little bit less. A three inch is extra, extra wide. It's very unusual. You don't see a lot of three-inch fedoras. Usually they're only custom brands like Borsellino or Biltmore, and, and brands that offer three-inch brims are gonna let you do it. Um, otherwise, most hat shops don't really have it. Um, so a three-inch is gonna be a very, very oversized look. It's gonna give you kind of like a, uh, well, it could give you a high fashion, kind of like a today current look could also give you a little bit earthier kind of look because it's big and it sort of suggests like a Western or an Outback kind of style. Um, it's going to change the look up. So you've got a fedora, but there's something different here. It's a super oversized brim. So it makes it a little bit more fashionable. Um, in some cases, if you're doing the hat in black, 
a black three inch brim or wide, wide brim like this is gonna look uh, like a Jewish religious hat. So it might not give you the look you want. You might say, I love uh, wide brims, but then when you try on a wide black hat, it's just too rabbinical looking for you and you don't like it. So certain colors are gonna give certain images to your hat. I'm gonna say if you're gonna do a wide brim and uh, you know, you're okay with the religious hat look, that's your look, then that's fine. Otherwise, you know, you don't want everybody on the street saying, you know, hey Rabbi, how are you? When you know, you're trying to go for a totally different look. Um, people are gonna say what they're gonna say though. They're gonna say, hey, uh, cowboy, where's your horse? And it's not even anything like a cowboy hat. But um, the idea is three inch brim. Two and three eighths, figure a little under two and a half inch brim. Okay, that's your classic brim. This is your extremely oversized brim, a three. Two and a half is classic. A two inch brim is like a medium brim. It's sort of a short brim, but not really totally short. It's a medium sized compact brim. Two inches kind of like what Frank Sinatra used to wear. He pulled it over one eye and he looked more understated, more gentlemanly, less costume like. Um, sometimes a two and a half or two and three eighths will look a little bit more like the typical fedora guy. It looks like you're trying a little too hard. And some people want to be a little bit, bit more understated, like they're, maybe they just have a thinner face, a skinnier face. And a two inch brim will look more laid back on them. Also when you wear it up, it looks really cool. The up look is almost the Blues Brothers look or the, uh, the Bronx tail look, you know. Going a little smaller is even like the Rocky Balboa look, which was big in the 80s. But uh, this is a medium brim. It's not quite, you know, a two and a half or a two and three eighths inch like my green hat. It's more of a small to medium brim. And it looks great if you have a narrow face. Um, if you want to just be more gentlemanly, more understated, and just you don't want your hat to look costume-like or you don't want it to look stereotypical. Okay, you're a guy who wears really nice outfits, nice suits or nice coats. You want to top it off with a hat that doesn't make you look like Elliot Ness, Indiana Jones or Humphrey Bogart. You want something that looks authentic, like a gentleman's hat. Two inches is going to give you that look. Um, I'm going to say one and three quarters, one and seven eighths, two inch. Uh, sometimes even a little more, like a two and a quarter inch, like the uh, Celentino Hudson is a nice sort of a little bit shorter than like my green hat. Um, this is more of a two and three eighths, two and a half look, where the two and a quarter is a nice medium look, even between the green hat and this, you know? So yeah, the two inch, two and a half, and the three inch, those are your three basic looks. And if you're thinking about brim size, you wanna remember stuff about brims, just remember two is a small brim, two and a half is a classic, and three is very oversized. So generally you're gonna do something like a two and three eighths, two and a half, or even a two or three. You know you're looking for a very, very big oversized brim to do a three. Um, I used to love the three inch brim and that's all I wore until I started getting into the two and three eighths inch brims, my green hat. I have two of the greens, one in blue. Um, and I started to like that look a lot. That's the Borsellino Classico. Um, they're not going to be available in Kelly Green, but we're going to be getting that hat in colors like gray, uh, like an olive taupe, black, things like that. They'll be coming in hopefully sometime very soon. They're actually very late, but our Borsellinos were custom ordered from Italy. Um, they're one of my favorite brands, always have been. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Borsellino, Acubra, and Celentino for reliability, felt quality, design, perfection and design. Um, I believe that the Borsellino designs are just second to none and the uh, Celentino designs are beautiful, graceful hats and wonderful quality. There's never ever a thread out of place on those brands, uh, never defective hats. The hats don't curl up when they get wet. There is no issues with cutting corners or quality control or getting bad hats ever which to me is a huge thing, it's, uh, which is why I tend to wear mostly Borsellinos, but to be honest, I haven't really bought a new hat in a long time. Uh, I'm allowed to get you know two free hats every year, a summer and a winter, and I just haven't taken them in quite a few years. So just because I wear my old hats and those are the ones I like, you know. But um, 
Let's talk about what's, what's next after figuring out your brim size. Okay, you're going to try some brims and you see what they look like. You try a 2 and 3 eighths inch brim. Look at it. Okay, check it out how it looks. Try the same thing in a 2 inch. Let's say you try in gray. Try the same color but smaller. Okay, you'll know what brim size is right for you after trying those two. You'll know if you want to go bigger to a 3 or smaller to a 2 inch or a 2 and a quarter even in between. You have to try the brims on. Uh, it's the only way. If you're not close to a hat shop and you're doing mail order, you could try any brims. Just go to um, you know the discount store or even anywhere, a lady shop, a, a sports store. You try on any hat with a brim and you just look at the brim, you know, how it uh, compares to you. If you can, you know, you can. I guess you have to just uh, you know go by what I'm talking about and take a risk, you know. Anything you do order from JJ's is pretty much um, exchangeable, so we never really deny you an exchange. Next thing is color. Generally, a guy is going to look really good in a light hat or a dark hat. Um, I like myself in colors, things like, you know, bright, vibrant colors. That's the kind of stuff I like. I like greens, aquas, lighter blues, um, purples, all those kind of color colors. Um, but I, I've bought hats in, in tan before, in black, in dark brown. And they all seem okay on me. Um, a lot of it, I think, is just owning it and just, you know, really loving it and embracing it, you know. Just wearing it and enjoying it. Each hat has to be presented in a different way, you know. Just, uh, you know, present that hat in the way that it looks like it wants to be presented. Maybe it wants to be a dressy hat or a floppier hat or, or a flip-it-down hat or a flip-up hat or a flip-down all the way. You don't know until you start fooling around with it. If you can't make that hat work, there's something wrong. It's either the color or the brim size. It could be the crown, you know, sometimes, but crown is easier to fix generally. You could just lower a crown. I actually have about like 10 videos showing you how to lower the crown yourself. It's not hard. Generally, when you lower a crown, it's only in the front that you lower. So the perceived height of this hat is right up here in the front. That's where you lower it. You just kind of lower it by folding it back into itself. So if I wanted to lower this crown, you know, I could bring it down super low and have it way down there, or I could have it, you know, up high. It's the front that's going to give you the look of a high or a low crown hat. The back is where your head actually sits. So you need a lot of depth to get your head to fit in there. Um, if you start lowering the back, it might bump into your head. So you're going to have to start tear dropping it in the back so that it's not bumping into the top of your head. So basically the back is for fit. The front is to show you how how high the hat looks. So you can always lower the hat's appearance by just lowering the front, folding it back into itself. You do it neatly, symmetrical, so it looks like just a new shape. And um, you could blast it with steam and lock it in, or not, you know, it's up to you. Sometimes you could have two heights. You'll have your low height, and your high hat, you, you can wear your hat both ways. But um, generally I worry about crown height later because it can just always be adjusted. Now, um, think about light hats, think about dark hats. If you're a very pale person, a lot of times black won't work. It's gonna make you look white and ghostly and stuff. Um, if you've got blue eyes, gray eyes, green eyes, certain colors will look better, like light gray always looks really nice. Um, things like uh, sage greens, uh, olive taupe colors, um, light blues, um, royal blues, things like that, grays that have a touch of blue in it. Those colors are going to look really good for those people with blue eyes. Guys with brown eyes might look better in, you know, dark, rich colors like chocolate brown, black, you know, things like that might look good. Um, 
a blonde, maybe she'll look good in, in a tan hat or something, or a white hat. It's all sort of like um, darker lights. Generally, a guy will look, or a girl will look good in a dark or a light. I mean, there's no rules to it. But um, if you start trying on a bunch of dark hats, you know, brown and black, and they're not working, try something light. Um, sometimes uh, it'll just pick up the blue in a person's eyes and make them look great. Whether you've got gray hair, or black hair, whatever, it just picks up that little bit of gray or blue in your eyes. Um, you could pick a color that's a grayish color, but it has just a twinge of blue in it, and it'll bring out the color of your eyes, and you'll look fantastic in that gray hat. Um, you can even put like a, a little uh, feather in there, like a peacock blue feather, you know, and just wear it a gray hat with a navy blue blazer or something like that, and that will look fantastic. A pair of khakis or you know, chinos or something like that. Um, gray hats are very easy, very easy to, to pull off for, for a lot of people. Um, good place to start, gray taupe colors are really nice if you could find those nice beigey sort of grayish taupe colors also a really nice place to start because they tend to go with almost everything they're totally neutral you could wear those taupes with black with brown with earth tones with olives with tan with navy with black they just look good with everything they're versatile and they're a lot of fun um, so you've got your size down you've got your type of hat or fedora your brim size down, and now you have your color. So you've you basically found your hat, and now you want to hone it down and get it good for you. So what you want to do is you want to make sure the depth is okay, okay, that you're not hitting the, uh, see this crease that goes inside the hat? You don't want to be bumping into that because then the hat won't go down enough. Okay, so what you do as a test, punch all that out, try on the hat, okay? Then put it back to its regular place and try it on. If it feels worse with the crease in, it means you're hitting the top, something's wrong. Or you just try it on the regular way and then when you're done, you pop it out. And then you say, wait a minute, that feels better. It feels better when you popped it out because now you've got a lot of headroom inside and you can pull it down all the way. Okay, what that means is you're hitting the top of the center crease. This little valley inside is bumping you. You don't have enough depth inside. It's a super common, common problem. All you do is right inside, you make a little bubble. So you raise a little bubble in the middle of there, right in here, you steam it, steam it, steam it, and with your hands inside, you press it up. Again, bubble crown is something I've made a lot of videos about, okay? Uh, put in in the search, um, is your head hitting the top? Uh, need more headroom, something like that, but I've got a bunch, you know, making a bubble crown is very, very simple. It's basically taking this crease that's going in the hat and then making it go out. So you're getting more headroom. There's a little bubble inside there, but nobody sees in there because it's all the way up here. All it does is it gives you the depth so that you can pull the hat down. So you check your depth, okay? If your depth needs to be, uh, you know, deepens a little, you can make that little bubble in there. If that's good, you look at your height, okay? A lot of people think hats are too high when they first look in the mirror. Give it time, give it 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Give it some time in front of the mirror because hats with style have a little bit of height in the front. If you start lowering it, lowering it, it's gonna start looking more casual and stuff. There's a, a good height for you, but don't rush to lower your crown because a lot of people when they first look in the mirror, they, it looks high to them, but then you get used to it after like a little time. But you can always lower the crown, you adjust the crown. After that, you know, you mess around with it. Do you want to you flip the front down? You want to keep it up? Uh, you want to flip it on the side maybe? You know, do you want to wear the hat flipped down at an angle? Do you want to wear it flipped up at an angle? Do you want to wear it on the back of your head? Like some kind of 80s Boy George Madonna kind of thing? Uh, you want to wear the brim all the way down. You know, you might be a simple guy. Like, nah, I just wear the brim up and uh, I just toss it on. Well, that's cool, you know. Um, check your fit. The fit should be like, you should be able to pull it down and lock it down at the eyebrow, at the brow bone, where the biggest part of your skull is. You're not going to wear it there. You're going to wear it above your brow bone. But to test the tightness, you have to pull it all the way down to your brow bone and make sure there's enough friction for it to stay on. So if you have to tie your shoes, you could pull it down to there, bend down, and it won't fall. 
if a train is coming or a big wind is coming, you pull the hat down to your brow bone where it's tightest, and you, you tip your head down a little and wait for the wind to finish it. Then you order the train to pass, you pick your hat up, and then you ride it. So you're going to wear your hat above the brow bone, but you should be able to pull it down to the brow bone and lock it on tight, okay, where it's tightest, and then push it back above the brow where it's comfortable. That's a test. If you're at the widest part of your head at the brow bone and it's still slipping like crazy, the hat's too big. So you've got to tighten it up a little bit by picking up the back of the bands, patting it a little underneath the bands, putting it back right behind the head. That's it. You can always take that stuff out later if your sweatband shrinks or if your hair grows longer or something. Most likely you'll just forget about the padding. And that's it. You've adjusted your hat, you found the right hat, you've checked the, the height, you've pinched it the way you want it and stuff. Um, enjoy it, take care of it, keep it away from heat. If it's a snap brim, snap it up when you're finished and keep the brim off the surface of the table. Invert it, hang it, or put it inside your box upside down, but don't store it on its brim. And that is that. Hope that uh, clip, up, clip on mic was good for you guys. Uh, something new in my rig, so uh, I'll be surprised. I'll see how the playback is too. Let me know if the audio sounds okay. Thank you.